Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a vlog and I will introduce you to the medical legal system in the Philippines and why you should become one because we need some of them especially because we only have a few in the country so we need it and we need someone to serve the country for that and I'm gonna give you guys a tour of what happens in the PMP crime lab and the forensics team and you know the stuff that you see in CSI it's actually here it's in real life it's a different experience so if you want to be a part of it then just keep on watching <laughs> Crime Lab is one of the uh, interesting uh, unit of the PNP. If you like uh, forensics, our forensics and crime scene, so I think this is a better uh, profession. You will have. Uh, benefits of that are the uh, hazard pay and the salary and the uh, privileges uh, to be a police officer and to serve the country and the people. Because it's a problem. You need to go for it. It's a problem. The country needs more medical resources. As is. So, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 Police Chief Inspector Jasmine Balbena or Doc Jazz, and I want you to join PNP through science, truth, and justice. You can serve through um, our forensic services, and if you want to be a medical legal, come and join us. So, if you become a medical legal officer, well, it's first and foremost, it's service. So, well, you have security of tenure if you're thinking about uh, if you're going, how you will be paying your bills. But uh, bottom line is, the hashtag there is, you get paid and yet you get to serve. So, that's the, uh, our, not really a motto, but it's what keeps you going. Like when we do our court hearings, uh, just appearing in court hearings or when you do your examinations, it goes a long way. Because uh, more of um, crime solution, but when we get that person to be convicted through our forensic examinations, you get to prevent another crime happening again. So, yun yung ang, um, mga perks. So, if you're just thinking about the monetary perks, uh, you think also of the perks that what you can do. If you're if you're lost, the mga hashtag emo, uh, and you want your um, belongingness in this world or your contribution, so be one of us and contribute. Just serve. Yeah, I was interested back then, around 1998, 1998. So CSI was uh, was the hype at that time. Then I forgot about it. Uh, you get through med, you don't have a life during med, they just kidding. Uh, you're, you're, um, then you, when I did uh, my oath taking uh, for the um, med, for passing the med boards, the crime lab personnel were giving out flyers at that time. And then it sparked uh, the interest again. Uh, I forgot about this side of me that I wanted forensic science. So. I applied and waited, uh, then I got in. So, um, 
uh, when you want to be a medical legal officer, first, uh, you can be a GP. So right, like me, after um, uh, the boards, I already got in, but we have to, uh, if you're a PCO, or police, police, police commission officer, by a lateral entry, so you get to train for one year uh, in the National Police College. And then you get to have at least half a year of medical legal basic course. Then after, uh, you can have a career in forensic medicine by you can also uh, by the years experience you can enter uh, some societies like us. We have our Philippine Academy of Medical Specialists. There's also the Philippine Society of Medical Specialists where the government uh, um, services. And then uh, the dis under the discipline of forensic medicine. So just like uh, uh, any other society, you have to undergo the diploma, the fellow, and, and then. But during your stint as a medical legal, you can also uh, uh, what are the other related uh, residency. So you can also go uh, through radio, pato, and then some already went to. And then maybe in the future, actually, we want in the future forensic psychiatry. Since uh, not all um, sexual abuse case or cases or physical injury cases are just about the external physical injury, but there's also the emotional trauma that goes along with it. So if you want to be a crazy rich Asian, I don't think this is the one uh, path for you uh, since it's more of passion, it's more of service. But then you don't get to be rich outside, you get to be rich inside. So I guess that in the long run that matters. So still join us, join PNP and be a medical legal officer.